channel um, today it's I'm tired I'm busy as you can see the kitchen's a mess I need to clean the counter still need to wash all the dishes um, like I said I go to work go to my dad's house check on them and then I come home cook something real quick and then eat shower go to bed and usually on my days off is my cleaning day so but today I'm actually having to take the exhaust in for the Spoon Sport Elite and have it welded because they are notorious known for the exhaust cracking. Where is it at? Right here. They are notorious known for cracking it right there. So I took it to the muffler shop called, called Marcal uh, Muffler in Stockton. And they told me that bring it in if it's. I'll grab a magnet. He said if it sticks, the magnet sticks to the piping, he can weld it. And then he would strengthen it as well. So, gonna be getting this welded today, cleaned up, welded, and placed back onto the Spoon Sport scooter. It's been sitting out here, and I haven't been riding. Um, I got the Spoon Sport livery there. I need to clean it up, put everything back. So everything is exposed. I do have the exhaust part covered with the rag. But yeah, so tomorrow goal is to vlog while riding. So I had the mount for, sorry, I'm just so tired when I'm trying to do this. <laughs> but trying to, um, get the get the scooter going so we can ride but i gotta head over to my dad's again take my aunt to go get her covid test to see if she has covid still or it's no more um then run around some errands with my dad and then get the muffler welded and then come back install it fire it up and be ready to start doing some writing vlogs on the scooter so not sure if a lot of you guys on the channel right now are into bikes, scooters, Harleys, but all my buddies, they, they all ride, and me, I like the Honda Lady scooter, just because uh, if you watch the original movie, Terminator, Sarah Connor had, I believe it was a Elite 150, and I've always liked that scooter, so that's why me and Skis have the same scooter, so we can at least, you know, help each other out and get things going. But hopefully I can get this running today and then be able to meet up with skis tomorrow and go riding. So let me go head over to my dad's and take care of business and then I'll see you guys at the muffler shop. Alright so I just uh, dropped off the exhaust at the muffler shop over here. They are busy so I can't pick it up till 4 and it's currently 2.12 right now. So I'll go back home. Um, kind of clean up I guess and then uh, come back but I want to show you guys this guy's 240 so he drives an S14 with an RB25 so it is super clean so kind of cool now at least I know somebody and he's working on the muffler so I'll get to have somebody who work with the RB25 with so that's going to be kind of cool to have somebody to know that has a motor as well because I only know one person that has the engine and it's actually um, Randy from Auto Up he knows how to work on RB so that's honestly the only person I know that knows how to work on an engine so now that I met this guy at least I have somebody else I can work with that knows about RB engines so and he's going to be doing the RB26 valve cover swap 
for better oil, he said. Oil, like, um, I guess, circulation. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm still learning, but it's awesome that uh, now I know somebody else that knows something that I can learn from and make the engine better. So let me go ahead and uh, head to the house. I'll see you guys back over here at 4 o'clock, and then we'll get the pick up the muffler. And hopefully it won't be too dark, but I want to put everything together tonight, fire it up, and then head over to probably just right around the block. Just want to get it going because I do want to ride it tomorrow to go kick it with skis. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the house. All right, so I'm home. I actually stopped by Walmart. Um, did a little bit of grocery shopping for myself and bought some... Meguiar's Quick Dealer, or Detailer, Quick Detailer, oh my god, I'm freaking so tired every day. So I bought this because I wanted to clean the Spoon Sport livery for my Honda Elite. Because I took everything apart, haven't done anything to it, and I know it's been sitting there dirty, so I need to clean it. Um, don't mind the ugly wrap here, <laughs> this is very garbage work. Like I said, I don't wrap. Hell no. Even when I try to spit bars, it's not going to be even good. So <laughs> I'm not going to try it. This is just for something I was trying to play around with and got bored and did it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to wipe it all down. It's all dirty from being outside on the shelf. I have my own Honda Elite shelf where I keep all my Honda Elite parts. I did put the quick releases on here. So just to hold the panels um, in tight, I do need to do some more little bit of work for my you know my theme on this uh, scooter I need to get those Elite 150 wheels uh, the same one skis has look like rotaries just because those are freaking sick and like I said I gotta step up my game for the summer for this uh, scooter just because it's cheap reliable great on gas and it can get me to where I need to go especially as much as I've been taking care of my father so like I said I went to there to go god I was like 8 in the morning and then um, after running all the errands for them and everything, I didn't get done until 2. So pretty much like, what, that six hours? Um, but yeah, so I even bought some. This is my favorite brand, Black Magic. I love Black Magic. Love Meguiar's. And dang, a wiser. Did not notice that there's a crack on here. Hopefully it works. Um, so yeah, go ahead and uh, sponsor me, Black Magic and Meguiar's. <laughs> so, and then also picked up a an incense towel, even though I got probably a whole bunch of them somewhere. Um, but yeah, so it is currently going to be, um, what is it, 331? So I got to head back into town, go pick up the exhaust, and then put it on here. I'm trying to get this all done before the, it gets too dark, because I really want to fire it up. But So I put the quick release tabs here, because it holds this piece in really, really tight. But um, yeah, so I need to just... Everything's oil change, everything's good on this. I just need to um, get the exhaust bolted on, everything, the fairings put back on, and then good to go. So let me go ahead over to the exhaust shop and pick up the exhaust. I told them to strengthen the weld, so um, yeah, so I'm gonna go because I need to hear it. All right. So NorCal muffler and truck. Just got the exhaust done. He built the bracket, as you can see. Um, going to the car. People have been driving by, checking out the car. I have the door window open because my dog's inside. And uh, people have actually been following me home lately, so you gotta watch out for that. But yeah, so I'm gonna put on a carbon fiber. So we'll set it here, but just so you guys have an idea, um, he built the bracket here. Um, welded it shut, painted it so it looks nice. Um, everything looks pretty good. It was a pretty quick job, but it, it's freaking solid, so I'm, I'm very happy. I'm gonna get home, slap this on, and then we'll be good to go. So, oh yeah. Alright, so I'm home. It is. 512 so and it's may not like it look like it's getting dark but each round five it does so 
while I still got light, I'm going to try to get everything put on. These zip ties are actually, I use these to hold a muffler where these points go. I don't know what a flap is. So let me uh, get all the tools ready, slap everything on, and then fire it up. So hopefully the battery is good, but we'll find out. Alright, so exhaust is on. So just gotta clean the the fairings and slap them on and we're good to go. So let me go ahead and detail those real quick and I'll put these on because I don't want the video to be crazy long. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna swap this brake light on because um, I gave this to skis but he got the JDM tail lights on it now, so I'm swapping this one because this has the clear bottom so when I hit the brake light this will be brightened here let me show you the difference and so then it'll brighten up and light down here so this is this full solid red as you can see or it goes black underneath but this one has the clear so be even brighter so perfect for my style of riding at night. Alright, so it is dark, so hopefully you guys can see it. But we are... You know what, actually, let me move it over here. Alright, so please don't mind the trash. This is my pile I'm trying to throw away. But this is my Spoon Sports scooter. So we are already set up, everything is on. Um, see this piece comes loose and will pop out, so that's why I have these put on. Shout out to the homie Steven for uh, hooking me up with all the parts to actually complete this build. So and plus giving me the idea of doing this, so thank you. But yeah, so I need to put the new registration tag on. Um, shout out to my homeboy John for the gold uh, bolts um, yeah so let me uh, fire it up for you guys so you guys can hear it so I gotta get a stretch kit for this cause it would look so sick slam like skis with a stretch kit so somebody build one so here we go let me fire it up so lights on so all you gotta do is turn on is Hold the brake. See, so yeah, it's so much brighter now with that bottom piece. And then press this. Fire right up. So the exhaust is perfect. No problems, no issues. Dude did an excellent job. Um, yeah, so this is my 1987 Honda Elite 80 Spoon Sport. So the reason why I have number 15 is actually my daughter's birthday. So that's why I use the number 15 for my daughter. So um, what I gotta do with the Dremel still, I gotta shave this piece. I'm not gonna cut out the whole section. I'm just gonna shave inside here. And um, so the airflow gets inside. Um, I'm learning how to fiberglass so I can uh, put scoops on the side, which will be on that side because of the the air box so I actually want to install a scoop that comes out here so the air will go in and then uh, cool off the engine as well and you know give it a that performance look and then just re slap a, a swan sticker back on or a crane so but yeah so I gotta get my Recaro seat still I will be ordering the fabric and taking it to the shop uh, skis has the person that will be doing this for me so I'm going to do Red Recaro. Um, this piece keeps coming up the floor, man. I got to put that there. But, and I'm so sorry it's so dark now. 
Um, these are actually from a 150 Elite. So, skis helped me put these on. So, shout out to you, skis. Thank you much. And we are at 6,000 miles, 748. So, I plan on putting hella miles on this to show the durability of the scooter. So, I need to grab a spare bolt here that I'll do that and put that on tonight because we are riding. So, I have a mount here for my phone, but I'm going to actually slap the GoPro on here. So this will be your guys' view tomorrow. I'm just worried about the vibration because my GoPro, I don't think it has the stabilizer, so it's going to be shaky. Um, if it's too much, then I have the mount for the helmet. So, but I got to talk to Leighton and see how he mounted his. So I do correctly so my GoPro don't fall off on me while I'm riding. But I'll show you guys the route I take to my dad's house. I go through the country roads where it's really nice. But yeah, so this is my Elite Spoon Sport livery style scooter. Um, I need to get those wheels like skis so bad because man, those are so freaking clean. But yeah, so this is my summer daily vehicle that I use to get around. Of course, I won't take it to work even though I can. It'll just take like three hours to get there. But don't mind the trash, please. This is all being going to be dumped soon once I get the, the other 5K from Randy. So I'm going to use some of it to call the junk guys and throw a bunch of stuff out. So, but this is my scooter. High beams work. Blinkers work. Rear blinkers as well. So everything works on it. Uh, like I said, everything even has a little horn. So it works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, park it. I got to put, uh, put air in the tires. Um, and it's funny because if you want to put air in these tires, all it takes is literally a bike pump. So, not joking. So I use a bike pump and I put it to 45 and it rides smooth and I can only max out 45 miles on this scooter because I am a big guy. So, um, tucking and everything is 45. Sitting upright, just cruising, 40 miles. So it's perfect for local riding. Um, other than that, it's, it's awesome. I love it. So this is my Spoon Sport scooter. God, I love this thing. So, such a great investment in gas saving and re reliability and the engine. Like I said, I have another engine, so I'm not worried. So this one is my spare engine. Um, I will be degreasing, cleaning this all up and rebuilding this to make it really good. I got to order a new the carburetor get some new brakes um, this I'm gonna I need to degrease it so this will be cleaned and then I'm going to wrinkle red it so like the type R engine so I'll do wrinkle red on this for the first time even though it's been laid down so I mean I'll I'll, I'll clean it up it'll, it'll look all right so but this will be my spare engine this will be the one that I try to you know performance I guess try to make it a little bit faster than 80 cc but yeah so because it is getting dark and I gotta go put this away I need to do some cooking and cleaning and end the, pretty much end the day for now and be ready to ride out tomorrow so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching I really do appreciate it and I gotta edit this tonight because I want to upload it tonight so yeah I'll see you guys in the next vlog make sure you guys to like and subscribe okay because when you guys are going to get the energy steering wheel, so and make sure you follow me on Instagram. So, alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thank you for watching the video, and if you like the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share on Facebook.